All right, everybody, how is it going? It is Saturday night. It's February 20th, and I am back with another video. Please visit the website, Counting the Lights. Something very different today. I don't have anything wrestling related, but one of my other favorite things that I have sitting off camera, I love subscription boxes, and I would buy a ton of subscription boxes if I could, but I limit myself to just a couple. Sometimes I pick up a special one, but I limit myself to a couple, and what's crazy today, this has never happened to me before, I actually had two, two great subscription boxes show up on the same day, and I'm thinking, hey, I usually just post pictures, but I have got to shoot a video. So I figured tonight I would shoot a video. And my first love, my favorite subscription box is Loot Crate. And I got a brand new Loot Crate from February. And this is the Dead Crate, featuring stuff from The Walking Dead and Deadpool. And everyone knows The Walking Dead is my favorite show. And everybody loved the Deadpool movie. How many times have you seen it? I've seen it twice. Maybe watching it a third time. Love Deadpool. Not a big fan of the comic. The movie was brilliant. So I've got that loot crate to open. And my other favorite one, I've got to go off camera for just a second. Marvel Collector's Core from Marvel Comics. And look who it is for the month of February. It is Deadpool. It is the Deadpool Marvel Collector's Box. So let's open up, see what we got this month. Two of these on the same day. I can't even tell you how exciting this is. I'm forgetting where the camera is. I'm so excited. All right. Scissors. Always use scissors, kids. Deadpool box. Open it up. The boxes are always themed on the inside. And as you can see, this one is just covered in Deadpool images and artwork. It looks very cool. Now, when you first open the box, the first thing you get is a patch and a badge. Every month, or actually these are bi-monthly. The Marvel ones come bi-monthly, so you get these every two months. So, Deadpool patch. Enamel pins, the enamel pins are really nice. I really like collecting those. And so there you go. Open up the flap. Uh-oh. Right away. Check out, check what comes in the box. And let's take a look inside. Okay, I'm going to set this off camera. Otherwise, you're just going to see nothing but a damn box in front of my face. And wow. Deadpool shirt. I got a cool looking. Throw that away for later. You didn't see that happen. Check this out. Now, you tell them whatever size you want. It's the same price. Deadpool shirt. I wish I had had this last weekend. I could have worn that to the movie. Oh, and it's the yellow one. I wonder if that's the chase one. But there we go, folks. Deadpool. First Deadpool t-shirt I ever had. I've never had a Deadpool t-shirt before. So there's that. Next, you get a comic. Limited edition comic. Special cover. Not all that crazy about these because usually... These are a few months old, and this came out, issue 7 just came out this week, so this probably came out like last May or so, so not that crazy. Cool looking cover, I'm not sure who that's by. Oh look, he's standing on a pile of chimichangas. Deadpool loves the chimichangas, and he's standing on a pile of them, so that is outstanding. What else do we got? Got a duck off cover real quick. Exclusive. Exclusive Deadpool. Funko Pops. I love Funko Pops. I collect Funko Pops. I bought a few more today. I try not to buy too, too many. Just the ones I really like. But you always get a pop in the Marvel Collector's Core box. And look at that. Limited edition. He's got his swords out. He's got his little action pose going. This is... It doesn't have what one on the back. This is maybe a rubber chicken? Has he got a rubber chicken? He's got no rubber chicken. He's bursting into action. Bursting into action. It pulled. Love some pops, and then one more. Oh, a couple more things. Look at this. Mo Peas. I got a little plushie. I got a little Deadpool plushie. Look how cute that is. Something I could give to my grandkids, but Deadpool is certainly inappropriate, <laughs> absolutely inappropriate for my grandkids. So they're not getting that. 
my uh, my grandniece Abby asked her mom, my uh, aunt Abby, or my niece Amy. The grandniece's name is Abby, and Abby said to Amy, "Would it be inappropriate for me to watch Game of Thrones?" To which my niece Amy replied, "Sweetheart, it's inappropriate for me to watch Game of Thrones, and that sums up Game of Thrones." pretty well, but we're not talking Game of Thrones. I'm off camera again. I know. I'm sorry, folks. Last item, Deadpool. Look at this. It's a Dorps, and it's a vinyl collection. It's another Deadpool. He's got on his hat. Oh, he's got on a cowboy hat, and he's got a pogo pony. So how about that? And you know, you can't get these anywhere unless you subscribe to the Marvel's Collector Core. It's 25 bucks. It comes out every two months. And they always have a special theme. And the next box comes out in April. And it's the Civil War box. And I'm excited about that because the box will come before Captain America Civil War comes out. So that means when I go to see the movie, I'll have a special t-shirt to wear. And then check this out. The interior of the box... It's pretty cool for storing stuff. I use mine to sometimes store comics, although this one's got a hard border in it, so I don't know that that's going to work, but check out the cool artwork. And that was the Deadpool box, and that was pretty cool. So, one second. Don't watch the man behind the camera. All right. All right, I'll fold that up later because we want to keep the content going. Next up is Loot Crate. Now, I've been a Loot Crate subscriber for almost a year now. I think this is my 12th box, and I love Loot Crate. I love the T-shirts. This is the shirt from last month, which was the special X-Files shirt. That is very cool. Sometimes the shirts are cool. Sometimes they're not so cool, but they're exclusives. <coughs> Excuse me. And I do like them. And, all right, Loot Crate, $19.95 a month. Always have a theme. This one's theme was uh, Dead, so it included Deadpool and the Walking Dead stuff. Again, scissors. Open a crate. Set the scissors there. And oh my god. Right off the bat, folks, there's more Deadpool. Each box also is very cool. The theme boxes, you can turn them inside out, which I do. I actually turned a few inside out and gave them as Christmas gifts this year. Very cool stuff. But let's see what we got. And we're going to start it right off. Look at this. I went from having zero Deadpool t-shirts to having... Oh, that's upside down. Look at that. Two Deadpool t-shirts. Check that out. That is pretty cool. He's shooting at your nether reasons and he's screaming tacos. I wonder if he's a Yoshihashi fan like the rest of us. Again, this would have been great last week when the movie came out. Couldn't have worn it. See all the other Loot Crate guys going to see Deadpool. But I'm sure I'll see Deadpool again. Two Deadpool t-shirts in a day when I had none. So this is a pretty red letter day. Next up, you get a pin. They switched to these enamel pins, which I like a whole lot better than the plastic pins they used to give you. Look at that. That is pretty gross. It's like a zombie toaster or something. I don't know. There's a magazine that explains everything to you. Next up. Exploding Deadpool figure. It says on the back, Eat Blasting Doorknobs of Death Banana Face. And that is something to certainly put on display. I put this on display at my desk at work, but somebody would snatch it. So I'll have to put it on display here at the house somewhere. Somewhere appropriate. Okay, next up. From The Walking Dead. Oh, look. Soap on a rope. Of zombie ears. Check that out. It's soap. It's called Daryl Walker's Ear Necklace. And I guess it is a necklace of ears that he has taken... And it's soap on a rope, so you can take, see, there's the back. And it's another Loot Crate exclusive. You can take that in the shower with you, and you're not looking for soap. And you want it on to wash behind your ears. Look at that. How great would that be to wash behind your ears? 
when you got ears right on the slope of the rope. All right, so I like that. Couple more things we got. You get the official magazine. These magazines are great. And these magazines tell you all about the stuff that you get every month and what it does. And they have some interviews. How to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse is very cool. History of Deadpool. Some Deadpool stuff to read about. Very cool. Also, if you're a subscriber, they have a $2,000 mega crate every month. And a random subscriber just gets a $2,000 mega crate. How cool would it be to get a mega crate one of these months? And a mini mega crate. There's a game here about which Walking Dead character you are. This is what I have, and you don't have unless you subscribe to Luke Carey. I have Deadpool's own taco recipe. So I can make Deadpool's favorite tacos. So check out that very very cool oh there was a limited edition of the Deadpool figure there's an X-Force variant which I didn't get I don't care I'm pretty happy with what I did get it's pretty awesome all right final thing you get a random action figure based on The Walking Dead and of course being a prepare guy who unboxes stuff I brought a long my scissors, open it up, what do we get? Oh, you got a somewhat, I got Rick. Is it a Lego? I don't know, folks, I gotta put that together. I'm not, it's gonna take me forever because I'm no good at putting stuff together. So that'd take me forever, but you get that. It's definitely Rick, you can see Rick's disembodied head. And I'll have that to put on display. Again, Loot Crate is like $19.95 a month plus shipping. And I look forward to it all the time. I have a good time with it. Again, the interior of the box. I'll have to flip this inside out later. Got lots of zombies on it. And we all know we love lots of zombies. All right. What do you think? That was pretty expensive. Or exciting. Expensive and exciting. You get two crates on one day. A little bit of an expensive day. Kind of exciting. Uh, it's not Ken Pearl cards. But hopefully more Ken Pearl cards are coming in the near future. And we'll do another unboxing. In the meantime... Please go and visit the website, countingthelights.com. You can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter name is Akira Michinoku. Counting the Lights is also on Twitter. Follow there. Um, hopefully, we're going to have more content. Put some videos up. I don't know if we'll put this up, although I think it's pretty awesome. And uh, if you like it, leave a comment. Tell me what else you want to me see me unboxing because I have to go to the grocery store and I got some Nintendo games. So there's always stuff to unbox. Uh, again, my name is Andy. Visit CountingTheLights.com, and we'll see you next time. All right, I'm out of here.